I think the people who are watching this on the road will be grateful that the algebra was cut off. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Calculating x when it's normal, 0, sigma squared. So mu k is equal from minus infinity to infinity, x to the k, 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma squared, e to the negative x squared over 2 sigma squared dx. Which k can you do easily? So which k can we do without too much trouble? One, zero. Zero. Okay, k equals zero is no problem, it's just one. What other k can we do? One. One. Why can we do one easily? Because we can use the substitution. We can, but there's an easier way to do k equals one. So you're integrating x e to the minus x squared over 2 sigma squared. So if you think of what the normal distribution looks like, you have a nice even function. When I multiply by x, what do I get? I get odd. So this is even. I multiply by x. I don't care what the shape is. You know, I know it's going to be 0 at 0, it's going to rise, and it's go, going to go down. It's odd. What can you say about the integral of an odd function of a symmetric region? Zero. So all you have to do is show that all these integrals converge. The exponential decay is more than enough to make up for the polynomial growth in x to the k. So we have no trouble there. Okay, so <coughs> mu k equals zero if k is odd. Excellent. 50% down, only infinitely many more k to go. What k should we look at next? Okay, so I'm going to show you one way to do two. Mu2 is equal to minus infinity to infinity of x squared, 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma squared e to the negative x squared over 2 sigma squared dx. Okay, so I think there was a suggestion on how to do this. How should we do this? What integration technique? I'm sorry? I vote for integration by parts over u substitution. Because I, I don't see something with the form, you know, f prime of g of x times g prime of x. u substitution is essentially the chain rule. And so for u substitution, you really want something that looks like this. And then you let u be g of x. And then that makes things really nice. We're not of that form. So we really want to do integration by parts. Okay, so if I do integration by parts, I have to decide what is u and what is dv. So what are your thoughts? What should u be? x squared. Okay, so u is x squared, and then dv is, I'll ignore the constant, e to the negative x squared over 2 sigma squared dx. Can we take the derivative of x squared? Yes. Yeah, not a problem. What about the antiderivative of e to the negative x squared over 2 sigma squared? Now, right? There's no nice closed form expression. All right, so we can't use this as a choice for u substitution. It's the most natural thing to try. So having u squared equals x doesn't work. So what should we have u equal? I'm sorry? Ah, I was hoping you wouldn't get jump straight to that. I was hoping you would say, let's try the other way and do it this way. So I will pretend you said the wrong thing. And we try to do this next. When we do this, when we go from this to this, we bring down powers of x. When we integrate this, we increase powers of x. So if we try to do this as a u substitution, we actually make things much worse. So the solution, as was just said, is to look, what went wrong before? What went wrong was we had e to the minus x squared over 2 sigma squared. This is begging for an x dx. If we have x dx over here, when we take the derivative of e to the minus x squared over 2 sigma squared, we're going to get a negative 2x over 2 sigma squared dx. We can now integrate by parts nicely. 
So we want to split things up. And then we'll get V is equal to, um, I think I needed one over sigma squared. So I'm going to get sigma squared P to the negative X squared over 2 sigma squared. And there'll be negative, yes. Okay, so this is how you would do the problem using integration by parts. What if you wanted to then take the fourth moment? What would you do? If we wanted the fourth moment, what would we do? Yes, integration by parts several times. We'd start off with x to the fourth. We'd start off with x cubed and an x over here. And when we integrate by parts, we go from x cubed, we'd go down to an x squared, we'd lose things here. Oh, great. We would then return to the case we've just done. So if we wanted the sixth moment, we would have to do it three times. Do we know any other way to try to calculate this quantity? What other technique do we have? I think somebody says something. Di Differentiating identities. One is integral from minus infinity to infinity, 1 over 2 pi sigma squared square root, e to the negative x squared over 2 sigma squared dx. Bring, the squared of, bring sigma squared over to the other side, I get sigma is the integral from minus infinity to infinity, 1 over square root of 2 pi, e to the minus x squared over 2 sigma squared dx. Apply d by d sigma. If I take the derivative with respect to sigma, an x squared is going to pop out. So when I take the derivative of sigma with respect to sigma, I get 1. We can justify this. 2 pi. Now the derivative of this, I have sigma to the negative 2. So I'll have e to the negative x squared over 2 sigma squared dx. The negative comes down. A negative from that is going to be fine. And I'll have an x squared over... Uh, so we have sigma to the negative 2, so I think I have a 2, and then a 2 sigma cubed. If I just take the derivative of this. So the sig oh, the 2's cancel. That's good. Write the sigma squared as sigma, sigma cubed as sigma squared times sigma. Bring the sigma over to the other side. And there you go. Uh, except I've lost a sigma somewhere. Um, oh, sorry. I write sigma cubed as sigma times sigma squared. When the sigma goes inside the square root, sigma becomes sigma squared. And so I bring sigma squared over to the other side. So I'll let you try to do the other moments using differentiating identities. Much better than integrating by parts multiple times. And so this is a big theme of the class, is trying to avoid having to do these painful stuff. Okay, so on Monday we will continue with chi-squared distributions, and then if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay.